Hi! In this video I want to prove you that it is possible to have extra light blonde hair, which is quite long, in a comparatively good quality. And all of this is artificially colorized. My natural hair color is at level 7. This is it on natural light and on artificial. My natural hair is thin and weak, so if you have a better hair quality, then you may get even better blonde hair than I do. After using this approach and formulas. So, let's start the root lightening process. First thing you should do is to divide your hair on four equal sections. Then, before taking the bleach powder, it's essential to mix it well. And the very first ultimate secret is to use a very low oxidant percent or developer. If your natural hair is same as mine, I mean not darker, and you bought a high quality product, it should promise up to 9 levels of bleaching, then it will work out. Another crucial moment is to use any hair bond enhancer. These products are usually called Plex, Stage 1, Stage 1 Bonds Enhancer and so on. This thing is really helpful within the bleaching process. Somehow it helps hair which is being emptied and ruined to not fall down. <laughs> and besides, it makes the bleaching mixture very smooth and homogeneous and easy to apply. So, as long as you should work accurately and precise on each section, you need two mirrors for this work. Take a brush for convenient hair segments separation. So you are looking at one mirror and uh, seeing what's going on in another. You must Listen to me, you just must take gloves for this, because it ruins fingers, not only your hair. And do not be afraid of using them, if you take your size, then it's not a problem. So, I start the application for the first section, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So, make sure that your hair is sinking in this mixture. It should be covered fully, generously, uh, so that you get a good result. Because do not forget that you are cheating the system and using a very low percent of developer. So, at least amount of bleaching mixture should be enough. I would even say excessive. Here is the process of segments distinguishing. You should not take more than one and a half centimeters in width, because then your result will not be clear. And one more important moment. If you are going to get blonde hair using this way of lightening it, shown in this video, then you should not let your hair grow for more than one month. It's even better to dye it to repeat all of this each three weeks. In the meanwhile, I finished the back sections and now it's time for all the rest.
I forgot to show you how much mixture you should take per one line. And one more moment. I'm finishing another segment and look at this side here. It's very thin. And it's better to bleach all the side here at the very last moment when you finished all four segments. So all four segments are done. And here is the amount I'm taking for side hair. It's twice less. And don't forget about the back. I applied everything in 20 minutes, waited for another 30 minutes. And now I'm checking if the result is light enough. If it is for some reasons not in your case, then you should still wash it off because the bleaching mixture is not active in 50 minutes, it's just damaging your hair. Now it's time to neutralize the roots because they are too yellow, but that's normal, that's what they should be like. Here is a violet direct pigment, I'm taking one gram of it and quite a lot of uh, low oxidant. First, I'm mixing a small amount of it manually to make it homogeneous, then adding all the rest and mixing with mixer. Now you should act really quick and try to apply this mixture on the roots isolately, solely. Because as you may notice on the video, roots are very bright yellow and all the rest of hair lens doesn't need this violet pigment so much. As you see, I apply it on hair lens anyway, but only for 30 seconds. And as for the roots, I was and as for the roots, I was actively rubbing it in for, I think, two to three minutes. But you should definitely not let it stay on your hair longer, because you will simply get violet hair. The idea is to neutralize yellow color, not to dye hair in violet. Here is the result. Roots are already not too bright. And now it's time for magic, or it's better to say physics. By the way, all the coloration formulas can additionally be found under this video. Now I'm preparing the first mixture for the roots, mixing it. you may have a look at how it's being applied. I think you can get the idea from the video why there are uh, two different formulas for roots and for the lens. You cannot be too accurate and precise while applying the tanning mixture. You can apply it roughly without using the second mirror. And while toning, you can divide sections for 5 cm in width. Now I'm preparing the mixture for the hair lens. It is slightly different. It contains more natural pigment for hair on lens, not to become too dark, gray or violet. You'd better use gloves within the application of tanning mixture as well. So don't consider this harmful example provided by me. And you just apply the hair dye 
as you apply a regular hair mask. First, you should apply it on all the three sections roughly and uh, then try to distribute your hair with your fingers and uh, make as even application as possible. The application process here should not exceed 10 minutes. If you have porous hair endings as I do, you should definitely check in the end whether your hair ends have already become colorized, because you do not want them to get too dark. If they did, then you should wipe off hair dye from them. So, finally I washed off the tannin mixture and now I will show you the result on a dry hair. This is the darkest its look. Actually, it looks very light, almost white on a sunlight. So you may see that roots and lens are of the same color and hair quality is just perfect.